cash on me. Yeah, you know she capping on me. Dread like that cap on me. Back then, ain't that on me. Alright, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. <clears throat> I got this hair. I'm gonna jump right into it. I got this hair from Amazon. And the store, it says Kiss Love on here, but the seller that I got it from said K-Beth, but I, they must be the same thing. Basically, I'm about to customize and install this wig. Uh, my birthday is in like two days, probably like three. Today is, I don't know what the day is, but whatever. Well, it says Kiss Love, so I'm gonna say this Kiss Love. This is the hair, this is 30 inches. It's in a net, so let me take it out. It's nice. I had already taken this out the package low key, so that's why I look a little ruffled. But um, it's just it's 30 inches. Okay, so I'm five six, so that you know it's the stretch length, so it come you know whatever. Um, this is a four by four closure. I don't know why I didn't get a frontal, but from the looks of it, everything looks pretty good. Um, the knots don't look huge. Let me see. Yeah, the knots don't look huge. Um, and basically, we just about to skip right into that part. Uh, the hair feels soft, it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, we gonna see, girl. It's not super thick going towards the ends, like I noticed that part. Um, and that's, a lot of the times when you have longer hair, it kinda does look big up here, small down here. But we gonna see, once it's wet and everything like that, we gonna see a difference. I don't really know the density. I'll go look and I'll have like the direct link and everything, but these knots look extremely small. I don't think it's gonna take a long time to bleach them or anything. The lace is pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna take a long time. Do this part. Basically what I'm doing here, you can take a brush, a comb, whatever you wanna take, wetting it and just whether it's straight or curly hair, wetting the hair and then pushing it back. So when you start to bleach your knots, you're not bleaching the hair. And what I saw somebody do that I thought was super smart is um, turn the wig upside down and put it on the canvas head um, instead of just doing it recklessly in your hand. I'm using today is the, I think this is 30, well this is shit. You know what, it is what it is. Look for this one. Okay, but I do have, I think this is a 30. Yeah, I got the 30 volume developer. Um, but the powder is, girl, it's whatever the fuck. One little scoop of it, this this much. And I'm putting in this little bowl. I need to go and grab um, some little plastic bowls that I just, you know, so it's this much. And you might not need that much, but um, I'm gonna use it just to be safe. So then we're gonna go in. I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like I'm so lazy. I didn't have to like move in the, the head around to do this. So then you're gonna go in and you're gonna put some of the 40, 30, the, whatever one you got. I'm using 30, 30 volume developer. You just wanna use a little bit, right? And then you wanna start stirring it until you get a really thick consistency. You don't want the consistency to be runny. What I'm doing right now is just showing you guys the consistency. And you probably should wear gloves. Obviously, I'm not going to. Um, hold on, let me turn the light on because I can barely see. But see, this is still really, obviously you wanna go back in with some more of the developer, right? And I just want you, if, if I'm helping you with a tutorial, I just want you to like pay attention to what I'm doing far as um, the, how the consistency should be, okay? And some people use the brush, but I watched a video a long time ago of a girl saying like, she doesn't use the brush, um, like the dye brush. She doesn't use that because the brushes have bristles and they can dip into the lace to where it'll start bleaching the hair. So she, that's the reason why she doesn't use it. So you wanna stir this up really good. And look, I still, it's still pretty chunky. So we're gonna add a little bit more of the, de the developer. Sorry, I stuttered like that. Okay, and just basically, just you want a, a really thick consistency. You don't want it to be able to run. And I probably should've used a bigger bowl, um, but girl, you work with what you got, okay? And I think this is the consistency I want it at. You might could do it a little thicker, or you might could even do it a little bit more runny. Um, I feel like the key is to not let it 
fall. You know what I'm saying? So it's right here, right now. It's to the point where it's not going to fall off. It's just, it's gonna take a little bit for it to come off, okay? Don't do what I do. You should probably use some gloves, girl, but we is ghetto. Oh, and something that I wanna tell you guys is that that shit stinks, okay? Really bad. Um, it will burn your nose, okay? The smell of it, so. Um, but like I said, you just want to be as careful as possible too. And I figured doing the hair this way instead of out on the other side and just having it in your hand, it works. I want to say that I, again, a lot of this, a lot of the things that I noticed are from tips that other people gave, like doing the bleach from the back to the front, because apparently the knots at the front of the lace are always going to be a lot, um, smaller and they're gonna bleach a lot faster so i'm just gonna go and you wanna it might not look like it but you wanna be really gentle it might like i don't want you to look i don't want it to look like i'm pushing it in i'm rubbing it just right on the top you want to be really gentle you don't want it to bleed into the hair you want to just lace you just want to bleach the knots okay and another thing too Take your time. It's like no rush, unless you are in a rush. Don't mess up your hair. You know what I'm saying? Take your time with plucking, bleaching, everything. Just take your time, like, you know? But like I said, you don't wanna push this in. I know it probably looks like I'm pushing it in. Don't push it in. You know, be gentle, but also don't be scared. So I just want to come on here and say I started, uh, well, I started my mental clock at around 8.33. It's like 8.55 right now. So it still need a little bit more time. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but sometimes I just, just to see if it's like chalky yet. We can flip it over and see how um, how they've not, how they bleached so far. Okay, actually, they bleached pretty fast, um, especially the front. Now let's look through the back. The ones in the back are still kind of black, but the ones in the front, like, it's time. First, I'm just rinsing this off, okay? Now, this might have been a little too soon, but to me, the lace is brown now, so I feel like it, it wasn't too soon. And I might have to turn my ring light off so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just rinsing this part off, getting all of the bleach out of there. should be using blue shampoo because blue offsets uh, orange or something like that and whatever. Girl, we gonna wash this lace with what we got, okay? This hair is perfect. This is definitely human hair. If it's not, it's some good, great ass synthetic hair, okay? Yeah, y'all, this hair is really nice. I had this uh, pinned it real quick. This hair is not shedding. I'm telling y'all, it's not shedding. Like, this hair is nice. It's definitely 30 inches. It's giving. It's fucking giving. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop, because mind you, I said I'm trying not to run out of space, but here's the knot. 
and I actually did kind of bleach the hair a little bit. You can tell, but it's cool. I just wanted to show y'all the hair really quick before I started um, doing everything. But yeah, this is the hair. It's so nice, y'all. It is so nice. Don't mind that it's makeup, okay? Don't do it. Please be cautious of my feelings. This is my first time ever doing this on video, so don't judge me. I want to do a middle part. So what I'm going to do is part this hair down the middle. And this hair, I don't, I'm going to say it didn't really come with a part. Um, Y'all, I'm going to have to skip a lot of steps because I don't want to run out of storage. Um, but yeah, I'm doing the middle part. The hair is wet right now. This hair is beautiful, y'all, okay? Beautiful. If they want to send me a million more units, we can do it. This is beautiful. And I highly recommend this hair. And you know, curly hair usually sheds a whole lot. This hair, y'all, when I tell y'all this shit ain't shedded a bit, we gonna give it a few days though. And I'm gonna definitely do an update. Um, but this hair haven't shed it not one little bit since I've been washing it and carrying on. And it's, y'all, this hair is nice, okay? I bought this hair because I was going to Miami. I was gonna be on a beach, girl. I ain't even going to Miami no more. I wanna know something. This, I was wondering why these little, it was a few stragglers up here. I think that this hair is pretty much pre-plucked and that it has like the little edges out, but you know me and you know everybody, we gonna still go in and thin it out a little bit more. But I just wanted to let, let y'all know that before I forgot. I'm gonna have to do the, the, the part after I do the edges, okay? And I'm gonna do the edges kind of quick. This is, there's a few different ways to do this. I like to do it this way, where you part the hair, pull some hair out, Pull some hair out, it don't gotta be perfect, but you pull some hair out and you pluck behind it. Make sure that you're getting a grip on it so you can go. These are the kind of tweezers I got. Everybody use different stuff. Child, please. I'm all for using what you got. And you don't have to go fast when you're doing this part. You wanna go real slow and you don't wanna go over the same part more than once. You wanna start at the root, pull it back. Start at the root, pull it back. Okay, I just wanna show y'all this hair. Like, not to shave myself, but I feel like I kinda overplugged on this part. And I don't know if I overplugged or if it's because I overbleached. Cause I, like, this at the tips is blonde looking. But this hair did come pretty much pre-plucked. And I feel like since the hair came pre-plucked, I didn't need to do a lot of plucking to it. So I'm gonna stop right now. But I am gonna record me doing the part. But basically what I do when I part, you don't have to do this part, but I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit and just same thing that you were doing when you are plucking the um, hairline, just clean it up a little bit and you know, and what you could do too that'll help is, because right here, I don't want this to be full. 
because I wanted to go like that. And I still want it to be a clear line, so. Choose up, Lil John.